You're now listening to Crypto Files. Welcome back, everyone. If you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. Remember, if you end up liking the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And just a reminder, anything I say in this video is not to be taken as financial advice. So don't go trading any of your crypto or NFTs based on my content. It is only for entertainment purposes. Today's topic is Efinity Token. Let's take a quick look and it's sitting at a dollar and 22 cents in the last 24 hours. It's up almost 6%, five and a half. And it's all time high was I believe $3 and 80 something. Let's take a quick look. Actually, I was wrong. $3 and 37 cents. That was four months ago on August the 4th of 2021. So it's pretty interesting. Um, it's all time high was four months ago. Let's take a look at the chart for the last seven days. And, you know, we we're currently in a market that's, you know, has a lot of tokens in discount. So, um, yeah, it looks like we're a little down in the usual at about a dollar 38, but not far off, maybe 10 cents or so. Let's take a look at the parachain auctions because that's what I'm covering right now. They have a whopping 6.4 million dots contributed to the uh, to the actual uh, crowd lending campaign that they've launched. And yeah, this was quite not the shocker, but uh, they managed to go ahead and flip Clover Monta Network. Clover was in the lead. Monta Network was beating Infinity, and now Infinity is beating both. Clover with 5.7 million dots and Monta Network with 3.7. So if this plays out the way that it looks like and Clover does not receive a good amount of contributions to catch up on Thursday, Infinity will be the fifth winner for the parachain auctions. And they'll go live on December 18th with the rest of the winners, which is Moonbeam, Macala, Parallel and A-Star. So very, very cool. That would leave only one more slot for this first batch of uh you know parachain auctions and that would leave clover in the lead to win the final slot for the first batch and then monta network unless monta network gets a huge amount of contributions um and it catches up to clover or any of these right but these just don't look pretty good so many are asking what happens for these projects that don't win a slot in the first uh you know in the first uh batch of uh projects well they can actually continue to um join the second batch um but they have to restart their crowd lending campaign so all these uh, dots that have been contributed to these crowd lending campaigns will be returned back to the original owners and start back at zero but they can go ahead and submit it as many times as possible how many rewards are you currently receiving for contributing to affinity well let's take a quick look it looks like right now it's 31 affinity tokens per dot and that's with a contribution of six point 45 million uh, dots so between 26 and 31 infinity tokens per dot is where it will probably end up there's plenty of time left for or what are we looking at we're looking at four days left for the infinity tokens um not the infinity tokens for the actual parachain auction to be completed so could be even maybe even 23 somewhere in between 23 and 31 i would say and the amount of tokens that you will be receiving so infinity what is it well it's a token with the parent um it's not a token it's uh it's a, it's gonna be a parachain right infinity is a native token but ultimately it'll be engine on the parachains taking advantage of the polka dot ecosystem they're gonna be able to focus strictly on just making sure that they have a uh, blockchain that focuses on non-fungible tokens and these non-fungible tokens what makes them different well their main focus is video games and i was taking a look at the video games because i do have some experience with unity and that's a 3d um that's eh, a 2d and 3d engine but its original name used to be unity 3d but unity is an engine where you can go ahead and create video games you can program scripts in c sharp so if you know c sharp it used to be JavaScript and what they used to call Bull and C Sharp. But, you know, you can go ahead and program scripts on there with their engine to go ahead and get started on creating video games. AAA companies have been using Unity and so have indie developers. Um, so there's a lot of game jams, a lot of individuals that use Unity. And why am I talking about this? Well, what does Unity have to do with Efinity? Well, they actually have released the Efinity SDK. And this is really big news. I don't see anybody covering this, and I wonder why. Um, number one is you're able to create 
um, games that will benefit from the engine blockchain with the engine native token and you can go ahead and get started with creating uh, um, you know NFTs are in-game items that you can purchase or win or uh, you know generate and farm and the big difference here is when you incorporate it into your video game they've done something very unique to where they have allowed these NFTs to not only hold the value um, in game but if you really wanted to you can actually melt the NFT quote unquote melt you can melt it for affinity tokens and um, so they're always going to be worth something you don't necessarily need a buyer to purchase the NFT um, in the uh, open market you can actually go ahead and just go ahead and melt these just like uh, you would with like maybe a golden coin golden chain in real life you just melt it for what it's worth you can do that in the game but this speeds up the process for game developers either AAA game developers and the developers um, it just speeds up the process of them integrating NFTs into their game because they don't have to worry about creating a blockchain. They don't have to worry about security. They don't have to worry about having a, a wallet. They don't have to worry about a marketplace. All that is already built into the engine ecosystem. So engine does have a wallet, does have a marketplace, um, and it already has the infrastructure for individuals to just use the SDK, make the calls that are needed, such as like, let's check the wallet of a, of a specific user, see if he owns this NFT. Let's check to see, um, you know, what is the status, who owns what, and what happens with trading. So the infrastructure is all there for you. So if you're an indie developer, check out the Unity Asset Store. You can go ahead and implement the SDK by engine in the Asset Store and implement this in Unity. So this is huge. I'm taking a look at like the views and it's only like 900 views in the past week. I expect that to be incredibly high in the future. Um, as uh, video games adopt NFTs more and more and more, individuals are going to be using um, Unity and will be implementing the engine SDK. I don't think there's another blockchain at the moment that's actually doing this. They don't, there's no other blockchain that has an SDK where these developers can go ahead and implement it into their game. Uh, and I'm wondering if they're going to go ahead and implement this into other engines because there are other engines for game developers. Um, very, very, very cool. So Affinity Token is um, something to take a look at. I'm wondering how this is going to go ahead and affect the price of the coin versus uh, engine, the actual coin. Engine is actually what is being implemented at the moment on the Ethereum blockchain. They do have jump net to avoid the high gas fees. Um, I reached out to a representative and he told me that JumpNet would also be implemented into Affinity as it launches as a pair chain. So they're going to be exactly the same, right? So if you, if for some reason, let's just hypothetically say that gas fees ended up being really high on the Polkadot network, um, they do um, have JumpNet on the uh, Affinity blockchain, which will go ahead and take advantage of those low, low gas fees. So um, they're going to be exactly the same, but the actual roadmap in regards to engine and infinity engine is going to take off as a parachain if it wins a slot and then from there on they're going to go ahead and focus strictly on the actual parachain and its features and when ethereum 2.0 comes out then some of those features that are not possible due to engine running on the ethereum blockchain and some of the benefits that ethereum is missing out when compared to polka dot will then kind of go back into engines blockchain that runs on ethereum and those new features will go ahead and be um, added those new features that exist on polka dot will be added in ethereum so remember what are the benefits of this well number one they've built out and in, you know they built out the infrastructure everything is there you have the wallets you have the marketplace um you have the sdk so game designers um game programmers don't have to worry about actually building an actual blockchain or building wallets or taking care of anything that is very costly and time consuming when you're trying to implement nfts natively in a game we see um similar situations with axie infinity if you look at axie infinity they have their own blockchain they have their own no native token um so if you create a game it's not like you're gonna have your own token um, it's going to be the NFTs will be tied with uh, 
Infinity or Engine. So something to think about, but I think it's a huge, huge benefit. I'm looking at the reviews in regards to the Unity uh, SDK and everybody saying that they are so, so happy with this because you're able to implement the um, SDK in, in pretty much 24 hours. Um, great reviews here. So much that some people thought they were fake, um, but I think they've done an awesome job and that is what's going on so this video was just an update let me know if you guys like it let me know what you guys think about infinity it looks like they're gonna win this week a whopping 6.4 million dots at the moment and i think it's big big news i think we're gonna see a lot of good features and i don't think people realize what they're building they're kind of just giving you the entire infrastructure and the framework for you to be able to just worry about building games bring in affinity make the assets uh, NFTs and let it take off. If you're building a game, reach out to the Affinity team. They do have a kind of like a fund for projects that they're interested in. They understand that sometimes VC funding and things of that nature are a little bit hard right now because not everybody understands NFTs. So reach out to the team if you do have a good, nice project and show it off with a trailer or a demo and you might get some funding um thank you guys for watching until next time stay safe and let me know what you guys think thank you so much bye